so today I got a very common issue and that is electronic throttle body failures on 09 to 2012 escapes and symptoms include surging going on the road cruise or not um, but more common is either stalling out going on the road or start up the engine and it stalls start stall start stall like that and the main culprit in that is the electronic throttle body now this concern is most common on 2009 to 2010 escapes uh, they, the 30 V6 and the 254 cylinder both use the same throttle body same exact part number um, it's more common on a 30 a lot more common so while changing out electronic throttle body is very similar to a cable driven throttle body these there's a few extra steps to do to ensure a successful change out and to make sure that that PCM relearns the new throttle body and knows there's a new throttle body from the start so we're going to get rid of those old values of course but there's a few other checks to do to make sure that there's no repeat repairs and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on it I'm going to show you how to change it out on a four cylinder first thing you're going to do is disconnect the PCV vent hose here and then you can just put it to the side back here that will hold it out of the way it's not going to damage anything unscrew the clamp not all the way though keep it in there still same thing over here it's an 8 millimeter and then you can do like that and put it off to the side now I'm changing the battery on this one for a different concern it just needs to be changed out based on age but you don't have to do it but it is nice to get that straight shot to all four of those bolts with the battery out of the way it's your choice either way we're going to, have to disconnect this battery anyways to relearn it uh, the new throttle body so you might as well pull it out if you're so inclined but it's not necessary next thing we're going to do is pull the electrical connector so you pull the tag the red tang back till it clicks like that and then you press in on the button there's a little tang right here press in on that push in on the connector and then pull and you can put that off to the side so go ahead and pull these four bolts out and then you can from your battery trace so there's no chance of them falling down on the intake there when we pull this body off of here Pulls off together now the throttle body gasket is silicone based gasket it's not necessary to change it out this one's got 60,000 on it and you could tell it's plenty plush still if you're anything over 60 I would change it out it's like a two three dollar gasket so we get a proper seal in here but this one you could tell is not flattened down not compressed not hardened and uh, it's got plenty of uh, plushness to it so it'll seal up the new throttle body while you're in here you might as well give it a quick wipe down and then of course clean your sealing surface here new gasket or not you know get it all cleaned up now that we're all cleaned up on that surface there we can put the new throttle body on there start all four bolts by hand and then you can tighten them in a crisscross pattern crisscross like this and I'm just snugging these up with my power tool take up the slack so tighten them in a crisscross pattern like that and then we can uh, torque them down to 89 inch pounds now what I do just to um, seal up the pins on here and provide uh, improved conductivity is I apply the XG12 um, dielectric grease on here onto the actual throttle body connector 
It's not necessary, it's something I do. I go a little extra step like that so we can get it, the proper voltages from these TP sensors as best we can. Get some light over here. There we go. So go ahead and put that back on there until it snaps into place and then you can push the red locking tab back in. Now another uh, important extra step to do that I do anyways for the customer is I clean the mass airflow sensor while I'm in here because everything it's like a domino effect. If, if this isn't reading right it can affect your throttle body. If your throttle body is not reading right all your torque values are off. If your torque values are off your trans will shift uh, harsh or too soft as in the case of uh, a mass airflow sensor if it reads too low the pressures in the trans can actually be too low and then you will actually have uh, slipping and of course you know you burn the clutches in your trans so it's a big domino effect you want to make sure everything is working right everything in this air induction system is is reliant on each other and having accurate readings so pop your uh, other half of your air cleaner housing back on here make sure it's in the two tanks down below fully seated up top and then we could go ahead and I put dielectric, dielectric grease on on this connector too same thing same style connector push it down all the way until it clicks and then put your locking tab down we can clean up the surface here and of course this all down here is new Put your intake snorkel back on here. Make sure you line up that little nub in there. And then same thing on this side. There's a little stop right here. You're gonna make sure top and bottom it goes all the way to that stop. Square all the way around so you have no air leaks. Very important. And then tighten down those worm drive clamps. And then we could put on your PCV line here now until it clicks like that give it a little yank now once you've replaced that throttle body got it all back together reset your memory on your PCM now it's time to learn make sure all your accessories are off headlamps blower radio wipers rear defrost all that Start it up and let it idle. Let it idle until it's warmed up fully and then let it idle you know a couple minutes past that. That's when it really starts its uh, fine learning of the idle RPM and that's what it bases everything off of um, for, for your trims, for your ETC trim on there. It'll actually learn a trim for your idles and then once you got that then you can go for a test drive and learn your shifts and uh, it'll learn the throughout plate positions for um, all those different loads on the shifts and on the drive also but this part right here where you let it idle until it gets warm it, with no loads on is the most important part of relearning a throttle body on a Ford